everyone. So let's begin to do this drugstore makeup look. All of these products are drugstore appropriate, so you can pick these up at your local drugstore, but I'm going to start off with the NYX Primer Base. I don't know that it does too much, but I have it, so I figured we would use it. We are going to go in with two different primers. One is just to kind of reduce the pores, and then the other one is kind of smooth everything out, and we are going to color correct. We're just going to skip right through this because you guys see me do this all the freaking time. So we are going to be using this brow stylus. This is by L'Oreal. I've had this for quite some time. I would say that I really do like the brow um, pencil. It reminds me a lot of the NYX Micro Brow, which is one of my favorite from the drugstore. Although this is what I had. This is a medium brown or a dark brown, but I feel like it comes off a little gray for me. So I did go in with one of my Maybelline palettes and just went in with this cool tone brown to kind of give a little more depth. So I try to do the best that I can with the drugstore brow products, but if you got something better than this and you like what you like, stick with it. So we're going to clean up the brows. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lift. Um, this is just a concealer that I had. I do like it. It is very full coverage. I don't feel like it gets very many um, praises here on YouTube channel, but I do like it. So we are just going to clean up the brows. I did skip over my concealer and my foundation only because I'm doing a first impressions on a foundation. So it should be up in a few days, but we pretty much are going to skip right through it go into bronzing the face and I'm going to be using this master palette by Maybelline. So I'm just going to go in and just finish up bronzing and then to contour I'm going to be using the elf contour palette. You guys are going to see it here shortly. Um, honestly I haven't used this in quite some time and when I used it here recently well in this video I should say I was really impressed by it. So I think I'm going to be using it more often. I do like the look that it gives and it just makes it look a little bit more natural than some of the other ones I own. Very easy to work with. I was actually very surprised. So for um, cheeks, I'm going to go in with this City Color Blush. These blushes are very pigmented. Be careful. <laughs> and then to highlight, I'm going to go in with the Milani highlighter. This was my first time using it and I was really impressed. So if you guys see this at the drugstore, definitely worth picking up. I do think it ranges between $10 and $12. Very affordable. And if you want that light to the goddess kind of a look, there it is. For the eyes, we are going to be using Milani palettes for this look. These palettes are some of the best palettes that I find through the drugstore. I just really enjoy them. They come in different shade ranges. You get some warm colors. You can get some cool colors. You can get some purple, some blues. They've got a whole bunch of them. Check them out in your Milani section. I'm going to be taking a few different palettes, but essentially, if you want to create this look, you can use it using any palette that you own. It's a very easy look. We are going to be taking a chocolate brown, and what I'm going to be doing is just placing it on my outer corner and creating creating circular motions simply on the outer corner. This is a very simple technique that I do all the time. You guys find this very often in my channel that I love to do this sort of a look. It's just very easy to do. It's very foolproof and anybody can create the look. So for the lid, we are going to go in with this infallible shadow. These are by L'Oreal. They're very popular. They're very easy to find and I own almost all of them. I think they're just incredible shadows. So I'm going to put them all over my lid and then just blend those two colors together. For the lid area, I believe I decided to go in with the matte white shadow, but we are going to move into lashes first. For lashes, oh no, 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 we are going to do that first. We're going to use this matte white shadow. I apologize. But simply what I did is I used a matte white shadow just because I already had shimmer on my inner corners, so I didn't want to take that away or add too much shimmer on the entire lid. Now, we are going to go in with lashes and for lashes, I'm going to be using the Demi Wispies by Ardell. And then I felt like they weren't enough. So I just gave them a couple coats of mascara just to tie it all in and make it look very lashy and big and voluminous. Then for the lower lash line, I'm just going to simply take that same chocolate brown that we had on the outer corner and tie it in and kind of sweep it on my lower lash line. And I'm just using a Morphe brush to do this. And then once we get done doing that, we are going to put a little bit of black in our waterline. I don't use black on my waterline often, but when I want something smoky or I'm not doing a winged liner, I always feel like it's very appropriate. So we're just going to coat the mascara on our lower lash line. And then to um, highlight, I decided to go in and just go crazy highlight on my inner corners to make them pop even more. Once we get done doing that, we are going to move back into the face. Um, I do have a little bit of fallout, so I just decided to dust it back out. You can do it using any brush, but... For my lips, I decided to go in with this Berry Lip Pencil. This is by Essence, and I'm just going to line it and fill in my entire lip. That way, the color lasts throughout the evening. 
Then once I get done doing that, I'm gonna use this Essence lipstick, and this is a very creamy lipstick. It's very pigmented, and I really, really liked it. And I'm just going to apply it on my lips on top to just add a little more lusciousness. So anyways, that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this drugstore Valentine's Day look. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe down below. Make sure to follow me on social media, and I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye.